Hello folks. Follow-up video to the previous one where I showed a two-pane analysis of a <clears throat> perfectly competitive firm operating in a perfectly competitive market and I started my analysis off with a, the firm showing a profit. I just wanted to follow up on, on that video quickly with um, another video showing what would happen if uh, my initial position is the firm operating at a loss and what that looks like. Usually when you do your analyses on the AP and IB examinations, you actually start off with equilibrium at the equilibrium position. And many of your homework assignments dealing with perfectly competitive firms deal with an initial equilibrium position. So you shouldn't have any problems with that, but, but uh, visually, and I guess as a follow-up to the last video, I wanted to show you what a uh, firm operating at a loss looks like and, and what happens. So here we go. A two-pane analysis approach again with uh, the pane on my left demonstrating a market and the pane on the right demonstrating the firm. And here's my firm operating at an initial loss. Now how do I know that? Remember that the firm is a price taker, and so I started off with an initial price of P here. Uh, for the firm, that looks like a, a perfectly elastic demand curve. You'll note that the ATC curve is well above the demand curve. Visually speaking, that immediately should indicate to us that, that this firm is operating in a loss. Again, further, how do I know that? Once I find my profit maximizing rate of output at MC equals MR, which is this point here, and Q1, I have to actually move up to find out what my total costs are. And it, my total costs are found here at this particular point. And again, they're well above my selling price. So this red shaded in area here represents firm operating at a loss. In the short run, a firm can operate at a loss, but in the long run, uh, if a firm is facing consecutive quarters of a loss, uh, it, it will either remedy that situation or it will go out of business. So, so one of the two. The only two long run uh, possibilities for a perfectly competitive firm are the firm goes out of business or the firm operates their normal profit level. What happens now? Again, uh, with perfect knowledge in the market, firms will exit this market and they'll go do something else. And that results in a left shift of supply, which in my market uh, results in a, a higher market price, a shift from P to P2. And uh, for the firm now, they have to take this higher price. You see then that my... Uh, my price, demand, average revenue, and marginal revenue curve has shifted up from its initial position. And uh, my profit maximizing rate of output for this firm that has decided to stay in business has increased from Q1 to Q2. And we see that uh, the loss has been minimized. It, it has gone away. And now the firm is in a much more desirable position, and this is approaching a long-run position, where uh, nor about a normal profit is being shown here with the firm operating at a profit maximizing rate of output at MC equal MR2 in this case, and that coincides with pretty much uh, the lowest point of the firm's average total cost curve. So the firm is achieving productive and allocative efficiency. I hope that uh, clarifies things as to what happens when a firm is earning a loss and how the market uh, equal, e uh, equalizes itself. I'll see you soon.